You ready to say it, man? Say what's going on? No. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? So welcome, 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 welcome back. All right, guys. So what we got here today is our AMD FX 8320, which is an eight-core uh, CPU processor. Daddy. Yes, sir. Tell everybody you said hi. <laughs> Tell everybody hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, yes, sir. So we have uh, AMD FX 80. Oh, man, that just messed up. 8320 uh, eight-core processor, uh, which we purchased from eBay. Uh, it was being listed as an untested uh, CPU processor that had some pins bent. Um, and unfortunately, because the pins were bent, the seller wasn't able to test it. So even if we are able to unpin this cpu processor it may not work so it may be a i think i paid 40 bucks for this it may be a 40 dollar loss but still you know i'm always i'm always up for a challenge you know you gotta challenge yourself you know here and there that's how you learn that's how you learn right now in my video computer that i pretty much do all my video editing from we have an amd 6300 which is a six core processor now understand this this AMD 6 core processor, it can get the job done. Adobe Premiere, not a problem. Elgato uh, Game Capture System, not a problem. It can get the job done. However, you know, everybody wants a little juice. Everybody wants a little extra power. You know, actually a little horsepower. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give this video computer a little bit horsepower, okay? Man, I tell you, man, it's going to be so exciting. So I just can't wait till you guys actually be able to see this whole project come together, babe. More than likely, what I'm going to do is try to get like a very fine flathead and try to unbend the pins. And also, I have a card, you know, like a um, a credit card or a uh, ID. You can take the card and just run through the pins um, to kind of get them realigned, but you know, very, very, uh, very lightly. Uh, I did do it before. I did it on my gaming computer, and that was a successful repair. Uh, and it was multiple pins on my actual uh, gaming computer. Uh, that's got an 8350 uh, AMD FX A core uh, CPU, and that that processor is. Whoo! <laughs> that processor is nice, which is the reason why. I thought, hmm, go from an AMD FX6300 to an AMD FX 8320. Yeah, it's definitely worth it for, what, 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Crush. Um, yes. Yeah, it is. So, yes, yes, yes. That's what we have planned. Um, and we're just pretty much going to try to knock out this CPU, get it all realigned. Woo. I can't wait. So this is our AMD FX 8320. It is a eight core processor. The issue is we have some pins. You can see like this pin bent some here. Uh, we can rotate. There's some in the middle. And let's rotate again. Yeah, you can somewhat see that we definitely got some, some pins that are not aligned. And you can kind of see it from afar. It's a very tedious process. Uh, I would not recommend for anyone to do this um, unless you have experience. Majority of the times, these uh, CPU uh, pins or needles, they pretty much break off. So, um, some people, they use heat, that, so that way the pins are a little bit more flexible. Me, I just uh, pretty much just do what I could do, you know. You only live once. Let's get her done. Tools that I'm using. Today is our HDX23 
piece, precision screwdriver set. It's very useful when it comes to computers. We got another tool set. So this tool set is our Husky. It's another screw bit set. So with this one comes with uh, this set. Very small screw bit. And with the HDX comes with this. It's got a, again, a range of Phillips, flatheads, torques, stuff of that nature. We're also going to be using a shell gift card. This is going to pretty much be used to line up all of the, uh, it's going to be like afterwards, after we get everything lined up um, on here. We're going to use that shell card to make sure everything else is straight. I'm going to start off with, I'm going to first start off with just looking. Looking down the lines to identify what needs to be right here. I see one here. So I'm going to flip it over and get to the one that I see. So now I take my very, very fine screw. Exactly which one I see right there. There we go. Looking at with my magnify glasses, I see one right here. I see a couple of them. Closing my right eye, looking with my left eye, and I'm just scanning. Scanning down the alley. Identify which ones need to be pretty much pulled some, but not too much. You know what, first and foremost, we wanna make sure that this card is not causing more damage. Another one to force the card through. You wanna let the card kinda glide through. Kind of slowly work the card through there. So the card kind of stopped, and that's because it's hitting a it's hitting a dead end. So I'm, I'm hitting a dead end down here. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it around. Yeah, I see it right. All right, I'm gonna have to stop recording so I can see this one. All right, I somewhat got it corrected, but now I'm seeing a little bit more discrepancies. You're not gonna get everything perfect. And that's honestly something that you can, can pretty much live with. Um, and the reason why I say that is because when you start to install the CPU into the motherboard, if you gently insert it, it will, uh, it will also help you line stuff up. just broke through that uh that pin so she's lined back up we got some out on 
the side here, but it's not it's not that bad. All right, guys, looking at this CPU, it looks like we're good to go. Um, everything is lining up. So let's go ahead and get her ready for the motherboard. So guys, I would say that these magnify glasses are a big success. Um, they're very helpful. Uh, they do come with a strap, just in case you might need a strap. Um, and it, it is chargeable. You got your uh, micro USB, uh, which plugs up to the side of here. Um, and that's how you recharge the battery, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Like. I was able to, you know, clean up the pins probably 15 minutes. This is the PC that we basically repaired the CPU and she is running absolutely good. Good, good, good. Real good. Fans in the front. And as you're seeing the fans on the top. It's got that RGB fans. These are the fans for the CPU. Those are some really good fans and they they definitely keep it nice and cool. This is a uh, view from the rear. Again, she is running cool, baby, real cool. All right, so this is the video that we're actually working on right now, <laughs> believe it or not. So if you see this video on YouTube, you know daggone well that we were able to repair that CPU. And I'm gonna right click on the task bar, select task manager and select the CPU. And now from here, you guys can see we got the AMD FX 8320 CPU. And it's got a very low CPU utilization. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So this is all of the CPUs and their utilization you can indeed repair CPUs that have bent pins. You just got to take your time and just, you know, do it, you know, one pin at a time. If you guys ever feel the need that you're basically getting overwhelmed or a little bit stressed out, you know, just stop, stop, take a break, you know, come back at it. Uh, if you got to come back at it the next day, then do that. But do not rush. Do not rush. Do not get overwhelmed. All right. Take your time. Okay. Again, you can you can cause damage. So, you know, use this video at your discretion. All right, guys. I'm getting ready to wrap up this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, please be sure to drop a comment and I'll respond to your comment also uh, if you may know of anyone that may have you know been the pins on their cpu you know share this video share this video because it can definitely be quite helpful there's a lot of people that accidentally drop their cpus um, sometimes you may try to insert your cpu in a cpu bracket and you may happen to have the cpu inserted in the wrong direction of which you may apply some pressure which it bent the pins so you may have like what like a two to three hundred dollar cpu with bent pins and now you're down a rake depending on the condition of those bent pins on the cpu you can highly 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 possible to mangly rebend the pins safely okay again some people they uh will 
heat up the CPU. I'm not too sure exactly how. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that they probably take like a heat gun and use the heat gun over the CPU pins so that way they're nice and warm and then use a flat head to bend them. Um, that's up to your discretion if you want to apply <laughs> heat to a CPU like that. Me, I prefer to just do it manually, you know. Again, this is like one of those last effort situations or one of those situations where you see a CPU on eBay that has some bent pins and you know, you can get that CPU for like 20 bucks and that CPU goes for roughly, you know, even in that use condition, um, it can go 100 to $200. And then a new condition, you know, with this market of, uh, you know, cryptocurrency, it can go $300, okay? No matter how old the CPU is, you know, cryptocurrency, I tell you, it brings the prices up on computer parts. This video, guys, is to help you guys with your computer needs and issues. So uh, hopefully this video is helpful to you guys. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment and I will respond. Again, guys, like always, guys, don't forget to like my video, share my video, and most definitely, guys, man, don't forget to subscribe to my video, man, because I see a lot of you guys watch my videos. And I'm not just saying, guys, you know, women too, you know, you all watch my videos, but you're not subscribed, okay? So, I'm telling you, it only takes, you know, what, one second, just hit that little button right there. Uh, which is the subscribe button so and hopefully I'm actually pointing to the to the correct location of where the subscribe button is because last time I did this but then when I looked at the video it was that way and I was just like oh gotta delete that scene so it should be this way to subscribe so don't forget to subscribe to my channel because man I tell you I tell you I tell you I got more video content on repairing uh, you know, computer parts, uh, automotive parts, and stuff of that nature. And in fact, I got this video coming up next to see if we can do some data recovery for my friend George. So stay tuned guys, stay tuned.